brass tacks here, I want to be very, very specific. This illness, what does it feel like? You mentioned it's painful. It is. There's a tightness in my chest, difficulty breathing, and pain, burning pain. The pain spreads everywhere. Sounds horrible. But it doesn't hurt right now. There's always some discomfort, yes. Electricity is everywhere in the modern world. But I very much appreciate the indulgence of the panel for their accommodation here today. I can handle this fine. Right, so with the lights off, you don't feel them? If the current's not flowing, no. Sorry about the exit signs. I guess they couldn't kill those for you. Well, they're not drawing much current, and they're far away. The intensity drops off with distance, per the inverse square law. Whoa, inverse square law. I'm not a physicist. Can you dumb that down to shade for me? The farther away it is, the stronger the source needs to be to have an effect. Got it, got it. So if I had a small battery, say from a watch or something, or, and I got it close to you, close to your skin, you'd know? I would feel it, yes. Could you feel any current coming from any particular direction, like uh, from the back wall over there, or from the floor, or from over there? Can you tell us where the nearest source of electricity is right now? Jimmy, do you have something in your pocket? Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. It's my cell phone. From this distance, you should feel it, but you don't, do you? Mr. McGill, you were warned to leave your electronics outside. It's all right. It's all right. May I? Just as I thought. There's no battery in here. You remove the battery. <laughs> That's a sorry little trick, isn't it? Got me, Chuck. Dead to rights. <laughs> I removed the battery. Objection. Sustained. You, you've taken a leeway. You're gonna get Mr. McGill. Wrap it up fast. God, Jimmy. Don't you know by now that this is real? I feel this? It's a physical response to stimuli. It's not a quirk. What do I gotta do to prove it to you? I don't know, Chuck. Could you check your breast pocket and tell me what's there? <sighs> what now? Can you tell the court what that was? Battery. You recognize that man in the back? His name is Hugh Babineau. He's on our witness list. You bumped into him on the stairway. He'll testify that he planted this fully charged battery on you over an hour and a half ago. An hour and 43 minutes. An hour and 43 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Babineau. And you felt nothing. No, 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 no. It's a trick. It has to be. Enough is enough. I submit that Mr. McGill's mental illness is a non-issue. If he were schizophrenic... Schizo? It wouldn't change the fact I that... I am not crazy! I'm not crazy. I knew he swapped those numbers. I knew it was 1216, one after Magna Carta, as if I could ever make such a mistake. Never, never. I just, I just couldn't prove it. He covered his tracks, got the idiot at the copy shop to lie for him. Mr. McGill, please. You, you think this is something. You, you think this is bad, this, this chicanery? He's done much worse. That billboard. You think a man just happens to fall like that? No, he orchestrated it. Jimmy! He defecated through a sunroof! And I saved him. <laughs> but I shouldn't have. Took him into my own firm. What was I thinking? He'll never change. He'll never change. Ever since he was nine. Always the same. Couldn't keep his hands out of the cash drawer. But not our Jimmy. Couldn't be precious Jimmy! Stealing them blind, and he gets to be a lawyer? What a sick joke! I should have stopped him when I had the chance. But you, you have to stop him. You, 